Oh boy, just the game everybody was asking for, Turbo Pug. Hey, what's up guys, Trex here, and welcome back to Zero Experience. This time, Turbo Pug, which appears to be one of those joke games that somehow finds its way on Steam. The first hint of this being that it was 99 cents, and the second hint being that it's a Unity game. So, my expectations have already been lowered substantially. Sorry if I sound a bit monotone or sick, I actually am sick and not too enthusiastic right now because everywhere around my nose hurts. But I suppose we should get started with this. Okay. Let's see, we got play, character select, leaderboards. Does that work? That actually does work. Hacker Man is at the top. Is that a, uh... Reference to Kung Fury characters. You got the pug and the black pug. I'm gonna get this one. Maybe I can jump higher. Oh, oh, we're going. Oh, okay. It, okay, space is jump. Alright, I looked at the input and it said it was sad. Did something. I'm not sure what. Oh man, this jumping is really, really weird. It's like. It's just straight up and then you. It, I can't tell if the jumping is realistic or not because you jump straight up and come straight back down really fast. It's not floaty like I'd expect in a game kind of like this. It is very rapid falling. I can't tell if it's realistic or not, but it's interesting to say the least. It's uh, definitely... Not quite what I'd expect from some sort of arcade game like this. I expect the jumping to be nice and floaty. Cause that's that's really what you want from one of these sort of arcade runners. You don't want it to be super precision jumping, that would be it's not fun. So is it just the same three levels recycled over and over and over? It looks like it. Yep, it's just the same stages. As far as I can tell, but I've only gotten this so far. Oh, uh, yeah. There is a surprising amount of effort put into this for a 99 cent Unity game, but still, it's like 8 bit skyboxes. And just the same sort of. The art is fairly nice, and the sprites are fairly nice, but yeah, it's still a Unity game. It was still 99 cents. I don't know what I was expecting. It's alright, I suppose. Nah. It's not that great. I really dislike the jumping, that is. I don't like the jumping at all for this type of game. Like some games, it's a bit too floaty, and in this game, it's a bit too uh, bound with the gravity. The gravity value is a bit too high in the programming, so you get it. You accelerate towards the ground super fast, but it needs to be that perfect mix of just floaty and realistic gravity for a sort of platform like this. And yeah, there's just all these foreground elements that kind of get in the way. So uh, I don't know. This is this is why Steam has a refund policy for these 99 cent games you buy. But, oh, I suppose it's alright. So yeah, Turbo Pug. I don't know what I expected. It's all, it's... There's nothing really left I can say. I, I, I wanted this to be like a 10 minute video. But there's nothing really more for me to say. It's very shallow. From what I've picked up. And... I don't know, let's check around with the other characters. See what else we got. Wow, we have unlocked Pug, Black Pug, Cat, and Flying Pug. Let's check out this guy. Is he moving a bit faster? Might be. Does the characters have anything to do with it? Alright, let's test out these characters. Okay, now I'm sort of getting the hang of the jumping a bit. It's a bit better, but it does certainly take some getting used to. So yeah, it's 
All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And test out Super Pug. Okay, I think these are just different sprites. I don't think they, they have any actual character abilities. So that's fun. Yep, I... Yeah, the, it may be if the characters had special powers or something. That'd be cool. But I think it's just cosmetic changes. Nothing too exciting. Here, maybe the cats do something different. If those are cats. Well, there's no jump animation, really. The tail just kind of bends up and down, but it's just completely still. It's actually kind of, kind of funny. Oh my gosh. Some of these jumps are actually kind of impossible. Or just very difficult. Like when you jump off and immediately you have to... There's another jump right there. Interesting. Don't know what these boxes up here are for. Symmetry or something, maybe? I don't know. But they don't really add anything in particular. Alright, let's just do this. I assume that maybe with a um, controller, if it was with the triggers, you might be able to adjust your jump. Sort of, but with the uh, keyboard, it's just binary, so it's just a full power jump every time. Whereas with a controller, if it's with like the uh, trigger where it has different sensitivities at different levels, you could control the jumps a bit more. I don't know. Oh well, well, that's Turbo Pug. Certainly is a 99 cent game. Don't bother picking it up, it, it's not worth it after about 10 minutes, but. Yeah, Man, that's pretty much it. Let's, well, there's the end of that run. So, that was zero experience. Next episode will be either Thursday or Monday. I need to do a quick play, and I need to take some NyQuil. See you all next time. Goodbye.